Whether you are selling PNG designs or Tumblr wraps, digital planners, eBooks, courses, templates, or really any other type of digital product, Pinterest can absolutely be your secret weapon for gaining new customers and really boosting your sales each month. In this video, I'll go over my top Pinterest marketing strategies as someone who has built multiple seven and six figure Etsy shops and now coaches others to do the same, I have seen Pinterest change businesses, including my own, when implementing the right strategies. So why do I love Pinterest so much? So just like Google, YouTube, or Etsy, Pinterest is a search engine first. It's not really a social media platform like Instagram or TikTok. So the people on Pinterest are actually actively searching for something, whether that's specific products or how to guides and about a million other things. So the first thing to do is to assess your Pinterest profile. One of the biggest mistakes I see digital product sellers make with their Pinterest accounts is a lack of clarity in their profiles. Your Pinterest profile should really scream what you do, what you offer, and what benefits you provide those following your account. So think about education, values, a certain design aesthetic for the home ideas for organizing their life, or a specific type of design file that you might sell. I recommend adding a call to action in your profile and shop link to help customers find what you offer. Remember, the easier that you make it for them, the more likely someone will click on your website, your shop, or your call to action links. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to convert your personal Pinterest account into a business account because this will give you access to additional analytics and emerging trend information and really give your brand more credibility as you move forward. Number two is the freebie strategy. It is no secret that everyone loves a freebie and this is the perfect way to attract new customers. So not only does this give potential customers a chance to try out your product and see its quality and the value that your product has, but you can also entice customers to sign up for your email newsletter at the same time so that you can continue to market to them in the future. If you don't already have an email list, this is a great time to start one so that you always have direct access to your customers and can market new launches and develop a much deeper relationship with them through behind the scenes content. A freebie is an amazing call to action to include in your profile. And some of the best call to actions that I've seen are freebies that people can access when they join your email list. So for the best results, include this in your Pinterest profile and within your pins descriptions. You can also create pins leading directly to your freebie to grow that email list and increase your sales whenever you send an email out. Examples of great digital product freebies include free PNG designs or Tumblr wraps, social media templates, a short ebook, a printable checklist, or a planner template. Just make sure that the freebie offers a lot of value so that potential customers will quickly see the value that your products offer and that will make them more likely to check out your digital product shop. The third tip is to create a variety of valuable pins. The heart of content marketing is providing value. So while cute pins are nice, the pins that will drive sales to your digital product store usually have something much more valuable. Whether this is education via your ebook or showing something inspirational like a beautifully designed planner to help someone organize their life. So just think of your target audience and who you're creating the pins for. What kind of accounts would they follow? You can spend time diving deep into people's accounts that fit your target audience. So who are they following? What pins are they saving? Because this will give you invaluable insight into what your audience actually wants to see on Pinterest. You can also check out your competition's Pinterest accounts. So what are they doing to grow their following and generate more pins? What kind of content do they regularly post? Take notes on all of this as you continue to develop your own content strategy. Create a mix of helpful content and idea pins. Some of your pins should feature your digital product, obviously, while others may be infographics sharing helpful tips or aesthetic photos related to your niche. This mixture will help you get more reach for the pins that you are creating and more people clicking on your Pinterest profile 
and learning about the products and the shop. Remember, no one likes to feel like they are constantly being sold to, so offering actual value outside of showcasing your products really is key. Switch up the type of pins that you share. Pinterest has multiple pin formats, including video, graphics, and carousel pins, which allow you to add up to five images like a collage and are actually really super engaging. Some great examples of diversifying your pin formats include short day in the life and behind the scenes videos, how to videos, and using your products or tutorials for related topics, infographics, comparative content, and even demo videos. For example, on my Pinterest account, I have simple graphics with the titles of blog posts with a call to action to check out free education on growing a successful business on Etsy. These take us a minute or two to make in Tailwind with their AI Create app, which I do strongly recommend for Pinterest graphics. It is super user friendly and you can duplicate designs quickly and then schedule them directly to your account. Some of my other pins link directly to YouTube videos or include short video content to provide instant value to anyone who is just scrolling the platform. If you have a YouTube channel, an Instagram account with Reels or a TikTok, this is a perfect way to repurpose existing content for Pinterest so that you can maximize the number of people watching your videos and learning about your products. Lastly, create engaging boards with a clear and inspiring theme. For example, a board about products for travel if you sell printable labels or travel containers or packing checklists, or a board about that girl lifestyle if you specialize in planning and wellness products. Humanize your digital products brand so that social media users can actually connect with it. You can even show your followers how much their support means by hosting giveaways or sharing promotions or discount codes to entice them to purchase your products and give them the feeling of exclusivity, something we all really enjoy. Number four is to complete keyword research within your niche and on Pinterest to see what is trending. I really like using Pinterest trends to look up top trends in the US each month if the topic is relevant to your digital product in any way, and then jump on that trend and use appropriate keywords in a conversational tone within your pins and profile to help more people find your products. Otherwise, you can complete research using Pinterest search engine. So simply type in your product, niche, or relevant topic. For example, typing in how to organize the kitchen if you sell printable labels, and then see what Pinterest populates afterward. This will show you what Pinterest users are shopping for and give you great keywords to incorporate into your pins and profile to optimize your account further. Tip number five is to create a content calendar. After your research, take a moment to list all of the ideas that have come to mind. Then expand upon them and consider upcoming holidays, seasons, or other events that may influence your product. For example, if you sell holiday printables, create a content calendar that has you start posting holiday pins about six weeks before the holiday in question so that you can catch both early shoppers and people shopping at the last minute. Another example is the fitness world. Many people are most interested in fitness trackers, weight trackers, meal planning templates, and other fitness related digital products at the beginning of the year for their new year's resolutions, or even nearing summer to get a beach body. So plan for these occasions and increase the number of pins that you post leading up to these times of the years to take full advantage of when your target audience is most invested in shopping for products within your niche. Lastly, consistency is king, and I will get to how easy it is to stay consistent with Pinterest in just a minute, but as you post more content, regularly check your Pinterest analytics to see which of your pins get the most traffic and engagement. Then just repeat this success by creating similar content to these pins. Above all else, remember that consistency is king with any type of social media. It is much better just to pick one or two social media platforms and consistently post on them rather than just post once a month on five different platforms. Using a social media scheduler like Tailwind has helped me stay consistent with posts in the past, so I do recommend checking out a tool like Tailwind or a similar one. Then you can batch create content one day a month and schedule your Pinterest posts for the next month, so it's just off your plate. 
This makes juggling social media content creation and marketing so much easier. And if you do want my full masterclass on my exact Pinterest marketing plan using Tailwind and how we create and schedule an entire month worth of content in just about an hour, then be sure to check out the first link down in the description. With Pinterest, it is important to note that it is a long-term marketing strategy. And I always say to expect a good three to four months of consistent pinning until you start to see steady traction on a brand new account. One of the best parts of Pinterest marketing is that it's pretty evergreen as far as a platform goes. As a search engine, it's just like YouTube or Google where pins will continue to show up in search results long after you posted them instead of like instant disappearance on TikTok or Instagram. I hope these tips help you grow your digital products business using Pinterest, which is definitely one of my favorite and preferred platforms for growth. And for more tips on how to increase your Etsy shop sales, then be sure to check out this video here on how I tripled my Etsy sales. And as always, thanks so much for watching.